Hello, everybody. Um, welcome back for the first real session, let's say. Uh, we have here uh, Astrid Emde. She's from uh, OSGEO. She has been involved with OSGEO uh, members since 2010 and is board member since uh, 2017, I think. And she's going to tell us everything about OSGEO and how it is interacting with OpenStreetMap. Click. <laughs> Yeah, hello. Uh, hello, everybody here at Sodom 2019 in Heidelberg. It's my first Sodom, so I'm very glad to be here. I am involved in OSU since a long time, since the beginning in 2006. And with this presentation, oh, let's see, I would like to um, introduce you into OSU and see uh, how OSU is connected to OpenStreetMap and how it is a great combination. So the talk is Get to Know OSU and how OSU is connected to OpenStreetMap, open source software and open education making use of OpenStreetMap data. And we are really happy that OpenStreetMap is there. So as said, I'm in the board. I live in Cologne in Germany and so it was easy to get here. And I was here in 2011 with FOSCHES conference where we had the pleasure to be in Heidelberg already. So as you can see here, I'm part of OSU and OpenStreetMap. I'm a mapper as well, but uh, didn't map so much yet. And let's see what OSU is about. So we have so many uh, acronyms and maybe not everyone knows what it means. So it's Open Source Geospatial Foundation and it stands for Free, Open, Self-Organizing and Global Community. And let's see what OSU is about. It's a non-profit software organization providing organizational, legal and financial support for projects. We will learn about the projects in a minute. OSU is volunteer driven, so we don't have staff, we don't have employees, everyone is done by the community. We have passionate members all over the world and individuals that run OSU. And uh, OSU promotes adoption of open geospatial technology all around the world. And we have partnerships, open approach to software, standards, data, and education. So that's a short introduction on OSU. And the history, if we look back, here you can see the old logo. It was established in 2006 at a meeting in Chicago with financial support of Autodesk at that time. And some uh, companies were involved, you will see in a minute, and just a note, um, OSM was there already, so it was 2004 when OpenStreetMap was founded. And this meeting was driven and organized um, by some companies, you can, by some projects you can see here. It was GDL, MapServer, QGIS, GrassGIS and PostGIS who were already there. These are software projects and people from these communities um, were running the meeting and founded OSGEO. So our goal is supporting open source software development. And uh, this means that we support projects and we have at the moment 25 graduated projects. All these projects go to, through an incubation process. So we review the code, we watch whether the community is active, whether the mailing list is there, code of conduct, a license, whether all these um, information is provided. And then after this incubation process, um, software projects are, um, yeah, are getting OSGEO projects. And here you can see we have projects from different categories, web mapping, desktop, libraries, and spatial data, metadata catalogs, and others. Maybe you don't know all of them, but um, yeah, <laughs> um, it's a good combination. And some of the projects are combining together and sharing ideas and um, interact with each other. So in addition to the OSGU projects, we have community projects. They are not incubated already, um, but maybe they want to incubate and get OSGU projects, or maybe they are only our friends and are associated to OSGU. So here you can see um, the projects marked with the stars that are projects that are in incubation process at the moment, like Proj, a bi library for transformation, or um, Oscario, which is a web 
GS client and um, many more. Here you can see the logos of all our OSU projects and friends. So you see it's a big variety of um, software products. And um, yeah, many of these projects love OSM because with OpenStreetMap we have the possibility to easily get data and um, use it in our software projects. So a lot of them integrated OpenStreetMap already. So for example, OpenLayers and Leaflet, they have support for OpenStreetMap um, services. We have um, OSM-based services as base maps, for example, for MapBender. We have a desktop GIS, QGIS, which um, is possible to load OSM data, uh, which is due to GDL, the library that supports OSM. Um, and that is integrated in a lot of software projects. And maybe if you are interested in routing, PG routing could be interesting for you, which also enables, uh, makes possible routing on OpenStreetMap data. So we love OpenStreetMap and maybe OSM users love OSU projects as well, because for example with QGIS you can easily visualize your OpenStreetMap data and make nice projects, nice maps, and with the other software you also can use your OpenStreetMap data. So we both work together very good. Um, with OSU we have a meeting um, every year, all the projects and friends we meet at our annual Phosphor-G conference. This was some weeks ago in Bucharest and here you can see the people who are running OSU. So as I said, I'm in the OSU board. For two years people are elected in the board and here you can see the um, directors that are active at the moment. And um, we have presidents. This is Maria, um, Maria de Reina, that's her. We have a secretary, that's me. We have a treasurer, that's Michael, he is here. And um, we have a chief returning officer. They are um, responsible for the elections, which will approach um, in some weeks, where we'll, we will run for new board elections. And we have a lot of OSU committees, which are maybe focusing on marketing, on technical things, uh, on um, local chapters, and run the community. So let's see how many members we have. Um, yeah, when you have a look at the wiki, we have more than 5,600 members, but there are some bots around there, so maybe that's not a very good um, number. We have a new website where more than 900 registrations are done on the website, and you could um, fill a profile for your registration and tell us about who you are on the website. We have several mailing lists for all of our projects, um, and we have mailing lists for OSGU where you can share ideas. So there we have more than 33,700 unique registrations. And um, so it's not very clear to say who are the OSU members and how many we are. But we have elected members, we call them charter members, and that are people from our community that um, got suggested by others and that maybe um, are very active, are developer activists, and um, um, they are advocates in their countries and promote OSU for us. So um, you can, if you are not a charter member yet, you could get elected in the next um, election process. And again, if we uh, compare it with OpenStreetMap, the actual numbers from um, June are that there are five, over 5 million OpenStreetMap um, registrations, so that's oh, <laughs> much more than OSQ have. We have local chapters, we have 30 local chapters all over the world. They organize meetups, conferences, code sprints, they report at this annual general meeting and they manage translations maybe of the software or documentation and promote OSGEO in their countries. And let's, let's ask the questions, local chapters, are they connected to OpenStreetMap? For the German local chapter, FOSGS, we can say yes, they are very much connected because um, FOSGS is a German language local chapter from OSGU and also the official local chapter for the OpenStreetMap Foundation for Germany. So in Germany or in German language um, countries, it's the case. We are more than 200 members. We have are a good combination, FOSGS and OpenStreetMap. Maybe we have different interests. 
some are more focused on software, the others more on data and amenities and tags and how to map, and the others more in software. But we are working fine together. And maybe if you look at other local chapters, this combination is there as well. So um, OSGU is working quite good together with OpenStreetMap and people are not only OSGU but maybe both in one person. So these conferences we run, the global one is every year. We had it in Bucharest um, in, at the end of August and here you can see where Phosphor-G traveled around the world. Next year it is in Calgary in August in Canada and here you can see our community in Bucharest. There were more than a thousand people. Some of them are here. I see smiles in the audience and uh, we had a great event there. So um, these Phosphor Gs, they don't only cover OSGU but also OSM topics. So there are many talks about technology and about mapping as well. And you can meet developer, you can talk about new features and software. But um, you also can talk about use cases and often solutions with OpenStreetMap are um, presented there. And um, in addition to this, yeah, and dancing and party, that's a big part of phosphor as well. And oh, we have tones, so maybe there this year there was a big party. <laughs> um, Maybe you can't uh, see it properly, but there was dancing and a lot of music and we had a lot of fun. So if you can come to this uh, global conference, we have many, many regional conferences going on all over the year. While we are here in the UK, there is a Phosphor-G UK going on. Last week was Phosphor-G Japan and it's really a vibrant community. And as you can see here, for example, Phosphor-G Sodom Oceania will be in November um, and there is in the title already open um, Sodom, so it's a combination of phosphor G and um, um, Sodom. Yeah, we have conferences, we have community sprints, we call them. Maybe you have mapathons, we have communities or code sprints where we uh, spend time together, code, um, write documentation, and whatever. Um, we do. We had have them quite often here in, at Linux Hotel. Fos GS EV is organizing it twice a, week, twice a year in Essen at the Linux Hotel. And these are, are pictures from there. But we have it also all over the world. And this is a picture from last year where we have been in Dar es Salaam after Phosphor conference. And it's nice to see where all these people come from, working on software, working on OpenStreetMap, and uh, sharing their ideas. We are involved in Google Summer of Code um, since 12 years already, and we run several projects with, uh, in several projects, we run um, solutions with students from all over the world. In 2019, we had seven students working for us, um, working together with us. We have since um, two years, we are involved in Google Code In, which are for um, pupils um, projects where they can work on. And we, we are present at conferences and other um, events, not run by us, but where we are invited. So beyond the software, and we work together with partners to promote our goal, open source, open data, open standards, open educations, open science, and we sign most, we say. A memorandum of Understanding. So we have 14 organizations already that signed a MO with us and here you can see um, the first MO was signed in 2011 between OSU and the International Cartographic Association. Here you can see the first president, it's Arnulf Christel, and in the second uh, picture is Jeff McKenna. Um, together with George Gartner signing this MO. And now we have um, 14 MOs all together. And one, for example, is signed in 2018 with the Youth Mapper community. So here's OpenStreetMap involved already. But uh, yeah, the question maybe why didn't we sign a MO with OpenStreetMap um, itself? So people from um, OSGU and OpenStreetMap Foundation, they talked maybe at Linux Hotel years ago in 2006 and in the following days they were discussing, but in the end no more was signed as OpenStreetMap does not do that. They don't 
have most. But we are friends already and we are running events and uh, our community already, so that doesn't matter. And maybe it's no need for a MO. But we have uh, a category in our wiki where OpenStreetMap is listed as like-minded organizations. So that's maybe a MO for us. I will finish in a minute, some seconds. So we have another project, it's Go Geo for All. It's an OSGEO educational initiative and there OpenStreetMap is involved um, as well because we use this data for our webinars and courses and um, here you can see the missions and goals of the Geo for All initiative and uh, you see that we have more than 100 labs all over the world where universities or um, organizations provide rooms and computers or um, make talks where people can find out about OSGEO software and if you are in a university you can get involved and um, there's one more project that I would like to introduce. It's OSU for Geo Life. It's um, a software collection with more than 50 projects um, that you can download. It's an L Ubuntu um, 18.4 um, version that um, has all these software, has data and documentation. You have always a quick start and an overview for all these um, projects and you find OpenStreetMap data on this OSU Live. Uh, we have all, every year the data of the actual PhosphoG, so this time it is Bucharest data and we have um, OSM Phos uh, software also on, on this um, OSU Live. So it's worth a try if you want to try out all the software for OSU, it's really easy um, to get it running. So my conclusion is OSGEO and OpenStreetMap are a great combination and um, I want to wish you may the force be with you for the whole of conference, for your whole life and I hope you enjoy the conference and have a great time and um, one thing that I want to stop with, now I need the tone, Ah. So this is a musical that was um, in Denver at Phosphor G 2011 and it's Skylar Earl singing Everyone's a Mapper on his own way and this should show the diversity in our community so everyone can do the way you like and this is how our the power of our community is and I added the link to the slides maybe you can't hear it so properly now but it's worth listening it's not only him but other great with you people singing there and presenting and that's what Phosphor is about as well so uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the introduction and um, hope you are curious about getting to know more about hmm? ah, yeah. one before okay great combination okay so if you want to learn more about OSU we have a booth here at Sodom and you are welcome to come around get some stickers get information and get involved okay thanks a lot for, for your talk Astrid you were a big clap I myself remember the dancing last year in Tanzania. It was uh -huh. really nice. <laughs> um, who of you have a question for Astrid about this wonderful uh, combination of the two angles on mapping the world? There is a question. Thanks. Hi, I'm um, Ariane from uh, FLOS Kosovo. How do educational partnerships work? How do educational partnerships work? That was a question, yeah? Okay, as I sh showed it, there was a Geo for All initiative. So if you want to get involved, you can um, apply for a lab and uh, in the Geo for All website, you will find a link what you have to do to um, set up a lab. So for your country or for your uh, location, you could uh, set up a lab and get involved. And um, if you don't have a lab that you would like to um, invent, you can share the geo for all uh, chapter and uh, get active there. And yeah, maybe that's a question. The other. Mm -hmm. Somebody else a question? 
As a follow-up to that one, um, for your educational resources for schools, do you tag that to the open education resources so it can be searched? Sorry, could you repeat the question? So my question is, there are lots of great resources out there for teachers that want to teach students or give them an opportunity to use spatial analysis to look at real-world problems. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but it's hard to find those resources because they're not aligned to the standards from the different jurisdictions mm -hmm. to the I curriculum. Think this question refers first again to the Geo for All initiative. They are like an umbrella for um, getting open source, this educational more widespread. And maybe that's the best point to, to get connected to them, to, um, to spread the educational material. That's their mission. And I would suggest OSGEO Live, it's a good starting point as well. Thanks yes, a question here. I maybe. think time is up. Um, she's still around. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. So, thanks for. You want the oh, last one? Or if it's a very, very quick one. Well, m my name is Thierry. It's <laughs> <laughs> I'm French, but I've been living in Brazil for more than 20 years, and I've, I've been doing a work of supporting OpenStreetMap very actively. Not that much from the technical point of view, but more from the relationship point of view with governments, etc. And in fact, I've been to a force 4 g once there in, in Brazil, but I, I didn't understand very well what it was. And I, I think I, I could do the, both things, in fact, speaking more about force 4 uh, OpenGL, uh, and not only about OpenStreetMap when I go and visit governments and companies. That was a statement or a question or? Uh, yeah, that was a statement, but in fact, uh, do you think there is an opportunity? I mean, is, 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 would, would that be something good? To talk about... Yeah. I'm, I'm so bad in understanding this question, sorry. So, an opportunity to focus more on... Because I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of contacts with governments and companies, telling them, use more OpenStreetMap. Mm -hmm. And I think there is an opportunity to do more things together with you at yes, the same time. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thanks I've for the I've already answered the question. <laughs> so that was quick. I guess, <laughs> Good. We can I guess you it. can continue the discussions. Okay. The discussions afterwards. I think there are a lot of collaborations possible. OSGO is, is doing great work. Um, and we're happy to have you around here. Thanks a lot. Give her a okay. last applause. Good, good.